To add a video effect, just right click in the area that you want the effect to be placed, go to video effects and select the effect you wish. In this example, I'm going to select Ken Burns, as I want to add movement to my mix. An effect is shown by a blue effects grid. This grid can be lengthened or shortened by using the trim handles. It can also be minimized and expanded using the icon in the top right hand corner. This is very handy if you want to add multiple effects in the same area. To access the properties of an effect, click on the properties icon in the grid. Here you can change the parameters of the effect. With some effects like Ken Burns, Pixelate, Swirl and Gaussian Blur, you can add waypoints to add motion to the effect. In this example, I want to use the Ken Burns effect to zoom in on the skateboarder. To do this, add a waypoint by clicking on the new waypoint tab. As you can see, there are now two waypoints. In the second waypoint tab, adjust the cropping area. Then click OK. When I press play, you will see the effect zoom into the skateboarder. I can control the speed by adjusting the play rate flags. Some other effects use an envelope to control the level of effect. For example, in the next clip I will use an edge detect effect. Use the trim handles to cover the clip and adjust the parameters of the effect by clicking on the effect properties button. You will see a line in the effect. This is called an envelope. I can adjust the level of the effect by holding down the left button on my mouse on the envelope and moving it up and down. I can also add nodes to the envelope by double clicking on the envelope to give me greater control of the levels. Right clicking on the envelope allows me to change the shape of the envelope, insert nodes, delete nodes and to reset the envelope. 